In accordance with Chinese folk tradition, on the 15th day of the first month of the Chinese lunar year, people celebrated the Lantern Festival. On that day, every household will share a meal of glutinous rice balls, display red lamps, light fireworks, solve lamp riddles, and join in the collective merriment of the festival. The painting Hanging Lanterns During the Festival from the Ming Dynasty is a detailed depiction of how ordinary Chinese would celebrate this joyful festivity. The custom of hanging lanterns emerged during the Han Dynasty on the year 206 BC, and by the Tang Dynasty it had already become one of the most popular festivities in the Chinese calendar, with lanterns adorning all buildings from the imperial palace to the common city streets in joyful celebration. During the North Song Dynasty, which emerged in 960 AD, the tradition of lamp riddles began. These would be attached to the lamps themselves so that pedestrians could attempt to solve them, making the festival all the more interesting. The painting Hanging Lanterns During the Festival depicts the celebrations that took part along the Qinhui River in today's Nanjing. The roads teem with shops, each holding its own lantern at its entrance. As our sights travel through the picture's crowded streets, we find that besides the regular lanterns, we can see a multitude of lanterns shaped as dragons, phoenixes, unicorn, fish, and shrimp. We also find lotus flowers, chrysanthemums, pomegranates, and pumpkin lanterns competing in size, color, and splendor for our attention. We do well to take a closer look at this dragon lantern. With fangs boar and claws brandish, it is remarkably lifelike. Its body is composed by a line of lanterns suspended high into the sky, where it can be seen from afar, adding to the festive atmosphere of the streets. These two men are raising a red lantern as they shout while these children stand around them. These little rascals are lighting skyrockets, the bravest doing it themselves, while the more timid ones hide, one of them holding his elder brother's clothes, at once terrified by the fireworks, but itching to try to light one himself. What is particularly interesting is that the other lanterns that light up the streets, we can see that all the shops are in businesses as their clients fill their stores, as is the case with this calligraphy shop. We see bronzeware stall, one selling porcelain curios, a street vendor selling musical instruments, while another sells furniture. Why is there such an increased commercial activity during the Lantern Festival? Originally, the festival marked the first day since the Chinese New Year that commercial fairs could be held. So beneath the skyrockets and the bright lanterns, people are engaging in all types of commercial transactions that display the commercial boom society was then enjoying. On this day of celebration, while common people had fun, how was the festival experience within the imperial court? While the painting Emperor Shenzong celebrates the Lantern Festival, gives us a glimpse of how the monarch himself joined in the fun of the occasion. Emperor Shenzong of the Ming Dynasty ordered that everyone in the palace should celebrate the Lantern Festival in 1485 AD. Therefore, the entire palace was decorated with lanterns and streamers, while ministers, concubines, and bodyguards put on festive dresses to mark the occasion. Furthermore, a troop of acrobats was invited to delight the emperor with juggling, magic tricks, and acrobatics. In order to leave a testimony of this wonderful occasion and show how the emperor shared in the merriment of his subjects, Emperor Shanzong had this magnificent painting especially commissioned. The paintings Hanging Lanterns During the Festival and Emperor Shanzong Celebrates the Lantern Festival provide a complete portrait of how both the common people and the mighty emperor enjoyed this special day. Through these two paintings, we can still feel today the excitement and the hurly-burly of the Lantern Festival of more than 500 years ago.